Welcome to this GiftWorks video. My name is Steve Faithful, and in this video, I'm going to be providing the answer to a frequently asked question that we receive when people are importing information into GiftWorks. The frequently asked question that I'm going to answer is this. I am importing donors that have the same name but are actually different donors. GiftWorks keeps combining them during my import. Is there a way to prevent GiftWorks from combining them into the same donor? Well, what's happening is that someone's importing, let's say, an Excel spreadsheet. And this could be a text file or an access database as well. But somebody's importing something that has the same donor name. In this case, all these donors named are, are, are named First Church. But they're all actually different donors. So you might have, you'll notice that they all have different addresses, etc. Well, when, when importing, GiftWorks is combining these into a single donor named First Church with three addresses and three donations. And that's not the result that uh, you may want. You may, you, you may, in this case, because there are three donors, you're going to want three different donors, um, each with their own inf information. We'll let's see how, that's, uh, th how that works itself out. So if I go back to GiftWorks and I quickly sign in and go start an import, I'm going to choose the file that I was just showing you called Same Name. It has three first churches that are all different. And if I just leave the, the options the way they are, the default options, this bottom one, let GiftWorks decide, actually chooses to say, um, I will, GiftWorks says that it will use the name information, that is the name of the organization, to determine if it should update an existing donor. Well, what's happening is when the very first first church is being imported, um, that goes in OK. But the second one that comes in, that second one, uh, GiftWorks matches it up to the first one that's already in GiftWorks during the import process and then simply updates that one with additional information like the address and the donations. And it does the same thing for the third one as well. So let's see how that plays out. If I map to organization name, street, city, state, and postal code. And then I map the donation information, donation one date, donation one amount. I click on next next and I run a quick test and then I actually import the information you're gonna see that if I go to my donor dashboard I'm gonna see that I have one first church and if I look a little closer into it I'll see that I have one donor called first church with three addresses and three donations and that's not what I want what I want is three individual donors each with their respective information so let me delete this quickly and just so that we start with a clean database, I'm going to permanently delete this donor. I'm going to go and start another import. And before I do that, though, one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Excel file that contains that, that donor information. And if you're in this situation, one of the things that you can do to guarantee that GiftWorks will create three individual donors is I want you to go ahead and insert a column right at the beginning of your Excel file. And I just want you to call it donor ID. And I want you to fill it in with zeros. And I want you to put zeros all the way down. So you can use the, I'm just highlighting all these three and hitting Control D. Um, you can use the, you can highlight this, edit, fill down. And that will basically fill your entire column in with zeros. And it's important that I put in, uh, I'm going to put in zeros here. And I'm going to show you how I use this in a moment. So I'm going to save this file. So I just added a column for donor ID and just put in zeros for all of these. I'm going to go back to GiftWorks. And I'm going to find this import file, and I'm going to open up same name. The same name.xls file, you'll notice it contains all this information, but now it contains this donor ID column that has a zero. I'm going to click the Next button, and down at the bottom, the key part of this whole thing to resolve this issue is instead of letting GiftWorks decide, which if you remember, get letting GiftWorks decide, well, um, basically GiftWorks decides to use name information to determine if it should update a donor, I'm going to say choose the fields to use for matching. And you'll notice right from the beginning, it chooses the first column in my thing called Donor ID and wants to match it up against the Donor ID that exists within GiftWorks. Well, what we're doing here by, by saying choose the fields to use for matching donors is we are going to force GiftWorks to say, I want you to match up. I want you to look for a, a, an existing donor based on Donor ID. Now, because these are zeros, the donor IDs that we set up in our Excel file are all zeros, and GiftWorks donor IDs, when they get created, will never be zeros, GiftWorks will never find a match, so it's never going to choose to update information. But rather, when it doesn't find a match, it's going to do down below here, it says if a matching donor is not found, GiftWorks should add a new donor. 
And so what we're doing is basically tricking Giftworks into saying, you're never going to find a match here, so always add a new donor. And so once I click on Next, I'm going to simply, I can ignore this field. I can simply map organization name, address, city, state, and postal code, and then map my donation information quickly. Date, donation, what amount. Click on Next. Then click on Next. Then click the Test Import button. Then click on the Next button to complete the import. Uh, yes, import the information into Giftworks. No errors or warnings were found. Click on Done. Then we go back to our donor dashboard. And what we'll see now is that we have three First Churches instead of just one, each with their respective information. First Church has its contact information, one address, and one donation. And the other churches are the same. So that is a way that you can use the donation settings, the options of, um, of uh, matching to existing donors to control uh, the fact that uh, Giftworks will not collapse or not combine all these donors into one donor. And that's a way that if you're having this issue, as long as all the donors within your source, whether it be Excel or text or an access database, as long as all those donors are indeed different donors, you can use the trick that I just showed you to ensure that Giftworks does not combine them into the same donor. So thanks for watching.